Cal State Dominguez Hills coming off a 69-60 to victory um, in the 4-5 game against Cal State Monterey Bay. I'm here today with head coach Steve Becker on his right. We have Colton Kressel, and on his left, we have Chris Seeley. Coach, there's a lot to talk about stat-wise and everything like that, but just take us through your overview of today's game and what happened out there on the court today. Yeah, you know, incredibly proud of our group. I thought we responded um, in, in an incredible way, and it wasn't one person. It was a collective effort, and that's been what we're trying to work towards and complement each other and do the things required to win, whether it be a 50-50 ball, whether it be a defensive rebound, or a key stop, a key basket, all the different layers that that, that encompasses. But um, just so proud of our entire group. These two did a great job of, of finding some composure for us and keeping us settled when we need it and then amping it up when it was necessary as well. So um, just incredibly proud of my team right now. Well, let's talk a little bit. I think we have to talk about that second half run out there. Yeah. You mentioned it. You guys got down by 17 points. I think that was just under 15 minutes left in the second half. Yeah. And you guys end up winning by nine. What helped spark that run for you? Yeah, you know, just just resilience and toughness and, and winning basketball, you know, all encompassing, right? Um, you know, we had a season low turnover, six turnovers, and ter- turnovers have been a thing that's been, you know, something we continue to just need to improve on. Uh, but season ho- season low, six turnovers has a major factor to do with it. We always talk about rebounding statistics and we won the rebound battle, but it, it wasn't one, one stat. Even the turnovers, as happy as I am with that stat, it wasn't just that. It was just the collective ability for us to just do what it was take to win. And it wasn't Colt, Chris. It was it was seven, ten guys. It was everybody, right? And I'm, I'm just incredibly, again, just really proud of my group. Fantastic. Yeah. Colton, talk to me a little bit about the offense. I got to look at this one, not everything else. You guys scored 21 points in the first half, 48 in the second half. What kind of, what turned at halftime or anything like that that you guys were able to just see the ball go in the hoop a little bit better? Yeah, I think we slowed down our offense a little bit, got better shots, played through our, um, who we wanted to get the ball. And also, once we start moving the ball, we, we get better shots and our percentages are better. Also, the thing about this team is we're never going to never gonna back down from anybody. We're ready to fight against whoever. If we're down 20 or up 20, we're always going to fight. And that's what I actually wanted to touch base. I'm going to come to you in just a minute, Chris. How important was that? Like you said, I'm just going to say it this way. Your career could have been done. You look at that thing at 17 points. How... Just tell me about that battle back that you get to play another day now. Yep, that's, that's lovely. I mean, I would have done anything. I wouldn't change my, my teammates, my coaches. I wouldn't change anything. I think this team, this group is special. And from 1, one to 10 for our roster, we got a lot of special, special talented players. Um, Chris, I know this isn't a normal thing, but I'm actually going to ask you about one of your teammates on here. I look at this box score, and I see one of you guys off the bench today was plus 23 out there today. David Cheatham mm-hmm. out there was incredible. Could you just talk about the performance? Him is maybe the highlight, but the performance you got off your bench today, because you had multiple guys come in. I know it's, you don't go really deep, but you guys had a lot of guys contribute and bring that energy for you today. Right. Um, that's what we look at them to do. Um, when stuff is not going our way sometimes, uh, the starters, uh, we expect for the uh, guys off the bench to come in and bring the same energy or maybe even more energy to pick us up. Uh, and that's what David Cheatham did today. He has a bright future. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. I'd like to talk, um, I think we maybe touched on it, but you guys were... 23 to nothing and points off turnovers today. Uh, that's both ways. That's creating a lot of turnovers, but also taking care of the ball. What Talking about the guards and stuff out there that were able to find you guys in good positions. And, um, you know, just you guys also had 15 assists on, tw- sorry, 11 assists on 24 baskets. You guys, you know, shared the ball really well. Just talking about, um, you know, the, sorry, I'm losing a little bit. But the effort out there for you guys to just take care of the ball so well, not get them easy baskets, but on the other side, get those free points, I'll say. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we just were patient. Uh, we had a lot of poise uh, coming out of halftime. Uh, we knew what we needed to do to get the job done, and that was basically just slow down and see our options and uh, execute the stuff that we need to execute. Fantastic. Well, Coach, we're alive for another day. You, Colton, and Chris, we're going to yeah. be seeing you guys again tomorrow. Yeah. You guys, let's be honest, you guys will face the number one team yeah. um, in the conference. But San Bernardino, what opportunities does this present for you guys moving forward? Yeah, you know, we've been wanting to get another another chance at San Bernardino all year. You know, really well coached, really good players top to bottom. You know, they defend, they take good shots, just they, they rebound the heck out of the ball. Um, and we played them close both times. We are up four with like nine seconds to go, I believe, in our place. And, found, and, and unfortunately, we're on the wrong end of a buzzer beater. Um, and then played in the three at their place. So I think we match up really well. We're probably two of the most athletic teams in the CCA with, with physical guys who can play multiple positions. And so... This was honestly one for these guys that they've been talking about all year. And so we are really psyched, really fired up to, to get the opportunity to compete. Um, 
you know, Nelson, and, you know, to speak on your point, the 23 points off of turnovers, you know, our ability to, to push the pace and try to get to the free throw lines, 20, 20 free throw attempts to their five total. Um, and I thought the officiating was really good today, but just our collective effort to get to the free throw line off of those turnovers, I thought was was really good because our free th- our, our percentages from the field weren't great, as you can see, right? Especially some of those shots we got in the first half were not necessarily bad shots, but but I felt like those transition buckets really got us going and got us to the free throw line, which was huge. Well, fantastic. Well, yeah. hope you guys can keep that momentum going for your sake. You guys will play, as we mentioned. Number one, Cal State San Bernardino. That game will tip off tomorrow at 8 p.m. So good luck and see you then. Thank you. Thank you.